So here we are in our experimental platform. I'm going to once again try and give a very big number. Uh, but it turns out I have to give a much bigger number than I was able to do uh, earlier. If you remember earlier with integers, I was able to give the number 3 billion and at least get something weird to happen. Now I'm going to have to give something uh, quite a bit larger. Uh, so let me show you one short trick for writing some big number, like some something into 10 to the power, a big number. So I'm going to give the number 9 into 10 to the power 15. And the way I write that is E15. So 9E15. Uh, this is something I can do when I am uh, reading the value of a uh, double. Uh, I can't do this with integers, uh, but 9E15 stands for 9 into 10 to the power 15. So 9 followed by 15 zeros. And if I press enter, it says as expected, uh, 9 followed by 15 zeros point a few uh, zeros after that, uh, f of that, remember f of x is x plus 1, is as expected, it's added a 1 in the units place just before the decimal. And that is larger than 9 followed by 15 zeros. So that's not the x that we were looking for. But let me give uh, an x that's just a bit larger. So how about 9.1 e15? Of course, I tried this out before recording this video. So let's try this value out and we find that we have broken mathematics. So 9.1, so 91 followed by 14 zeros, f of that should add a 1 in the units place. But when we look at the units place, we don't see the 1. What happened to it? It got swallowed up. So this is strange. And real numbers as represented in C programs and many other programming languages have many, many complicated properties. And unfortunately, in this basic introduction, we don't have enough time to go over these complications. So in the description of this video, I will share some links where you can read up more about all the strange things that can go wrong uh, with uh, using doubles, which is the type that we are using here, and floats, which are another type that C provides to represent uh, real numbers. The difference between floats and doubles is that doubles can represent a larger range uh, of, uh, of uh, real values and they, it can represent more uh, densely packed uh, real numbers than uh, floats. Uh, neither of them can actually represent all real numbers even within a fixed interval because as you know in any fixed interval there are an infinite number of real numbers and we have only finite computers in our hands. Uh, so it's certainly not possible to represent all real numbers just from that very simple argument. Uh, but in any case, uh, the point is that uh, real numbers, when uh, represented on computers, uh, do very, very strange things. So at the very least, we have seen that the strangeness of real numbers is different to the strangeness of integers, where with integers, if you exceeded a limit, you sort of wrapped around to the other side. Here, uh, information seems to be disappearing into a black hole. I added one to an integer and it disappeared. We didn't see any change. So it's important to remember that real numbers do act very, very differently. And there is much to learn uh, in, in understanding how to write code that works correctly with real numbers.